Hey guys, in our previous video, we have seen how we can create a snapshot for our EVS volumes. Here in this video, we are going to discuss about the AMIs. So whenever we are launching an EC2 instance, we can select this quick start and we can select our required operating system or else we can go with AWS marketplace and we can select our required operating system. Even we can filter from community AMIs. So, but let us assume a scenario. So you you got a ticket to create 100 EC2 instances and all these 100 EC2 instances need to be uh, installed with one of your organizational standard application and or else like in all the coming uh, future launching instances need the same application and basically you need to create a template based on your organizational requirement. So by selecting this quick start and launching all the 100 instances, log into each and every machine is not at all a suggestible method. So that's why we have an option called customized AMI or else we can call it as a golden AMI. So golden AMI is nothing but an AMI. So that contains the all latest security patches, software configurations, software agents, that we need to install for login, security maintenance, and performance monitoring. And along with that, we can install our customized application and we can create a template of that. And from the template, we can launch n number of the EC2 instances. Okay, so let's do that. So I already have an EC2 instance which used in our previous session, that snapshot. Uh, session so i still have the dc2 instance now i'm going to customize this ec2 instance based on my organizational requirement so now i'm going to change the password first okay so here is my auto generated password here i got connected to my ec2 instance and i'm changing the password change the password and I given current password and I'm giving my customized password. Okay, so then I'm going to perform some more modifications like for example, I'm going to install, I'm going to make this as a simple web server by installing IIS. Add roles and features, it's not yet ready. Okay, then click on next. It's just typical Windows installation. Next, next, next. And select your um, required role. I selected web server. So next, next, next. And install. So this is continuing. Meanwhile, I'm going to create a simple index.html file to deliver from that EC2 instance. So, very simple HTML file. No wait a moment, please. Okay, so I created a very simple index.html file just to deliver this from my newly creating web server. Okay, this installation is succeed and let's verify the status. Grab the public IP address or public DNS, give it here. Okay, there you can say I'm able to get that IAS web page. Okay, so now I'm going to grab this in C drive, inet pub, www root. So I have pasted that index.html. So basically, this is the file. Index.html is going to deliver as a simple web page. Here you can see. So now I'm going to perform some more customizations. Like uh, uh, I'm going to give. I'm going to change the wallpaper. Basically, so here I have an image. And 
have set it as a wallpaper here you can see i have set it as a wallpaper and some customizations even i have i'm going to copy a couple of files into this machine so now my requirement is my organization needs all these when i'm launching an ec2 instance i need all these along with that so for that we can select this ec2 instance and we have two options one is we can go to volumes you can select the root volume you can create a snapshot of that from that snapshot you can create an ami create an image so this is first option or else select your instance then go to image option then initiate to create an image so in both ways we are going to get a snapshot and this snapshot is going to associate with our ami so here also by instead of manually creating snapshot by us amazon is going to creating a snapshot in between and that is going to associate with the newly created ami right so just select the instance go to actions image create image so before that Amazon recommend us to stop this EC2 instance as we are performing this operation on our root volumes. So I'm stopping this EC2 instance. Immediately, this is going to disconnect. Okay, so here my instance is stopping. Here is a volume. If you want to go with manual process, just create a snapshot here. Go to snapshot, and the second option is create image. Create a uh, third option is create image. Just when you select that, when you give properties, you are going to get an AMI here. Now, if you observe, I don't have any snapshots here. When I create this image, automatically I'm going to get a snapshot. And Amazon is going to initiate that snapshot creation. All right, this instance is in stopped state now. Go to actions, image, Create image, whatever the name you want to give. Okay, I'm going to call this as my golden AMI. So then, properties, if you want to add any of the volume, you can do that and click on create image. One, image creation request sent to Amazon Web Services. And here is the AMI, it is creating. And it is in pending state. And it is a Windows operating system, EBS volume. When it got created, virtualization type, HPM or PB. So you can select that and if you go to snapshots one snapshot is going to create this is going to take a minute or two here is a ami and it's in pending state i'm going to pause this video for a minute or two okay so now the ami is available and if you go to snapshot page if you verify automatically one 30 gig snapshot got created and if you read the description this snapshot creation got initiated by amazon web services here is a description created by create image for ami for a particular volume that is our root volume id and this is not encrypted right so now go to amis and here is an ami so this is by using this AMI, we can launch a number of these instances. So as we know, we already have a copy. So like we really don't require this. So I'm going to terminate this instance. So this got terminated. So I have an AMI. So now when I'm launching an EC2 instance, I can go to my AMI. So this is our customized or golden AMI. So you can launch an instance from this. So here is the owner, 12 digit AWS account ID. Then click on select. I'm selecting D2 micro and click on next. And on the default option, 30 gigs, add tag. I'm going to give a tag new instance from golden ami and i'm going to choose an existing security group review and launch and here i really no need to give this key pair why because i've already customized the password for my golden ami so i can go with this option proceed without a key pair and i acknowledge that I will not be able to connect to this instance unless I already know the password built into this AMI. Then click on launch instance, click on view instances. 
Okay, so now a new instance from Golden AMI. Come on. It's not working. Okay, so I need to do this. And here is my EC2 instance and it is up and running. So let me grab that public DNS. Let me try to get connected. MSTSC. Seems that it is not yet ready. So if you want to get the status of your instance, like you can go to instance setting, get instance screenshot. And here you can find still it is loading. It's going to take some time, I believe. So that instance is not ready, so that's why I got this. So once this instance is ready, just click on connect. It is going to ask us to enter the user and password. So the default username is administrator I have given, and I'm giving my customized password. Then click on yes. And there you go, we have all our data. We have our customized wallpaper. We have, if we configured everything perfectly, we should get a website from this public DNS or public IP address. There you can see I'm able to get the website. I have not configured anything. I just launched my EC2 instance from that AMI, but I'm able to get this, right? So, from this golden AMI, we can launch n number of the EC2 instance with all, and all the instance are going to have same settings. And this AMI, we can launch this instance under spot request. And after selecting this, we can quote our price under spot category. And if you want to deregister, you can deregister this. And if you want to register new AMI with manifest, so this is for instance store volumes. So nowadays nobody is using that. And if you want to copy this AMI to any other region or else any other AWS account user, so you can copy this AMI. Basically this copy is for another RAR regions only. So you can select where exactly you want to copy. Okay, I want to copy to Singapore region. You can select that. Then I want to copy to you know Central. Then you can select that and you can copy the AMI. So basically, if you have an instance in Mumbai, you need same instance with the same settings, same data and everything same. Like you can create an AMI and you can copy that AMI to another region and there you can launch your instance and you're going to have all the data. And you can modify image permissions, you can make this public or you can share it privately with another AWS account user. And now it is listed with only owned by me. And we have many public images. Select the public images and approximately 33,869 public images are there. For example, you really don't know how to install MySQL. Just look for that. Here you can find n number of the... Seems that is my browser issue, okay. So here you can find the AMI name and what is the source, what is the platform, and who is the owner for that, 12 digit AWS account ID. So we are going to get that complete information. So that is an AMI. So in our coming sessions, many times we are going to use this AMIs. That's it for this video guys, see you again, thank you.